I always pack up most of my stuff while still in my sleeping bag, so <laughs> this is the worst part of the morning. Good morning. It's that time of morning right now, 20 minutes into my hike, where I have to stop and take off my puffy jacket because it's been getting so cold at nights and in the mornings. But as soon as you start hiking and the sun comes out, it gets warm so fast. So I need to always stop just really quickly into my hike and shed my layers. I know I could probably start cold, but it's just so cozy <laughs> being in this jacket. bit of a climb coming out of that shelter and it's got a really pretty view and like for the millionth day in a row no clouds in the skies <laughs> so today I have walked 1.7 miles already it's about 37 degrees and I have 9.7 miles to go until I get to the road that goes into Fontana Dam village I have a resupply package waiting for me at the hotel and I also probably have to go to the store and grab a couple more things. Tomorrow I'll be entering the Great Smoky Mountains. I do not want to run out of food while I'm there. I want to do the Smokies in about four days, which, I, which is what I did last year. And last year I came a little bit close to running out of food. so. I want to make sure I'm very prepared this year. So that is the plan today so far. It, today shouldn't be that tough. I feel like I'm on a mountain right now. So to get into Fontana, probably be a lot of downhill today. So it should be a nice easy day. This is my first hiking snack today. It's definitely a classic out here. This right here is Yellow Creek Gap. I am at like 5.2 miles for the day and maybe like six to go. So just about halfway. But that looks like a little bit of a climb right there. The shelter, the Cable Gap shelter was right on the trail, like literally feet off the trail. So I decided to sit here for a second catch up on my water and maybe another snack. And I think there's a couple hikers um, hiking pretty close behind me, so maybe they'll catch up. But there were sections of that trail today that I jogged and I love when I do that. I love when the trail allows that. It's nice and smooth and I just feel like good. Like I feel like I'm in really good shape physically and everything, like knock on wood. <laughs> That might be the first glimpse of Fontana Lake in the distance. Alright, that's the dam right there. I'm going to be walking across that tomorrow. So 
So down here is the marina where you can call for a shuttle to go to the resort. And I also saw a sign that they had like beer and snacks and drinks and a resupply. And it looks so pretty down there. I can't wait to check it out. I'm at the Fontana Marina and I just want to show you quick what there is because I just picked up a little resupply here. So I got all the good snacks over here, even some mountain house meals, fuel, ramen, and it's right on the water. It's so pretty. I'm Dave, work at the Fontana Marina. We're hiker friendly here. We've got a lot of resupplies. It's a great place to have a couple of cold beers, sit out on the patio, and relax. But uh, good luck to all you hikers. Oh, thank you. They've got a little hiker message board out here. Um, I recognize Andrew, not today. And then there's a little trail log right there that I'll sign. I'm in. For Fontana Village, the guy at the marina called a shuttle, so I got dropped over at the hotel, checked in, got a room. Now I'm doing the 0.4 mile walk to the gas station to see if I need anything else for a resupply, and because it's pretty nice out and I don't mind the walk. Now and it's the perfect day to go to the hotel pool. So that's where I'm gonna head now. That was a cool shot. And then on top of Chicoa Bulb.